Mr. Speaker, it's day four, and I am dismayed that this government shutdown has been allowed to continue, mm. even though we have the votes to end it right now. A bipartisan majority of this House supports the Senate passed so clean continuing resolution, but for some reason, Speaker Boehner won't allow a vote. People back home in Oregon and across the United States don't understand this. Majority of the House, the majority of the Senate, and the President agree on a deal that would reopen the government, but it's not going to happen because the Speaker won't allow a vote. This is hurting our constituents. One of mine wrote about her family's effort to save enough money for a house, but she's on indefinite furlough. Unpaid time that she didn't ask for, didn't deserve, and can't afford. Another had planned a trip to visit the Grand Canyon, but after making reservations and buying tickets, the park won't be open and her family's trip will be ruined. Someone else wrote about her pregnant daughter who relies on WIC and won't receive the nutrition assistance she needs. Yesterday, a volunteer at the Tualatin River National Wildlife Refuge said that years of conservation and restoration work could be set back because there will be no staff on duty to manage the water levels. Researchers at our state's universities, like Oregon State University, had to put projects on hold. They've been unable to collaborate with federal agencies, important deadlines are being missed, new grant applications aren't being processed. These are just a few of the stories that I'm hearing. The shutdown hasn't just affected one agency or one constituency. It's affected everyone who relies on a functioning federal government. And Mr. Speaker, it's chipping away at what's left of the respect for this institution. We can't afford to use any more precious time on piecemeal bills that we know won't go anywhere. It's time to set aside the politics and put the needs of our constituents first. Mr. Speaker, I understand as does America, that you and some of your members do not support the Affordable Care Act. We understand that. We got that message. But it passed both chambers, was signed into law, and was upheld by the Supreme Court. Well, Mr. Speaker, I don't like the across-the-board cuts caused by sequestration. They're harming my district and this country, and I'll continue to fight them. Yet I am ready now to vote for the clean continuing resolution that contains those cuts. Why? Because it's critical to get the government open now. And every indication is that a majority of this chamber will do the same. Mr. Speaker, let us reopen the federal government. We can do it today. Mr. Speaker, please let us vote. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I yield back. The chair recognizes.